After listening to this session, you will get a clear idea about why collision severity system is important, the working principle of the system, what are all the hardware required to build the system, and how do we install XAMPP application. All this will be made very clear through this session. The collision severity detection system. Why is the system needed? The main objective of the system is to detect the severity of a collision or a crash between vehicles. You might be thinking, why is it necessary to detect severity in particular? So let's find the answer to this question with an example. Let's say two accidents happened at a place each separated by a distance of 5 kilometers. Among them, one is a very small collision and none of the passengers are hurt. But the severity of the other accident is very high and needs immediate attention. So, in this type of cases, to avoid wastage of resources like ambulances or medical attention and the time to increase quick attention towards the high severity accidents, this type of system would really be useful. Multiple accidents with different severity happen every day and this solution is going to get clarity on which accident needs immediate attention based on the severity. Working principle of the system. The working principle of the system is very simple. We will be using an Arduino Uno, the collision detection sensor, FSR and the GPS module to capture the coordinates of the location. These values will be processed by a Python script and will be stored in a database. These database values will be updated on a web page which can be seen and accessed by the emergency services or even by the police or appropriate resources. Node MCU cannot store previous accident values and all the data gets erased when it is getting powered off. This is the reason why we have not chosen Node MCU for local web page. Instead, we will be creating a local server which is Apache server and local database which is MySQL database using XAMPP application. The complete flow diagram is presented to you in front of you for you to understand the entire concept with ease. We get the sensor data. We update it in the database, we display the data real time in the web page. The hardware connections. We will be using GPS module for obtaining the location coordinates. Collision sensor to detect a collision, FSR sensor to calculate the intensity of the collision and an Arduino Uno for obtaining all the sensor data. Both FSR and collision sensor are combinedly used to avoid the false positives. And we want to make sure that our system is detecting things perfectly and that's why we chose this combo. A table is presented in front of you for you to understand the connections and we request you to follow the connection details which are presented in front of you as a diagrammatic representation as well for the system to fully function fine. Let's code it. We have included the tiny GPS library for parsing the NMEA data from the GPS module and getting the location coordinates. Software serial library for communication between the GPS and Arduino Uno is also used. FSR is connected at pin A5 and collision sensor out pin is connected at digital pin 4. The FSR data and call data stores the data which are acquired from the FSR and the collision sensor respectively. LAT STR, LNG STR stores the latitude and the longitude values after passing the NMEA data. The final STR is the string which prints finally on the serial monitor. If the GPS is not connected to the satellite, then the default location which is stored in final STR will be printed. One can go through the code snippet which is presented in front of you for enhanced understanding. It's very easy to understand and we have already explained you the same. Let's continue the coding. GPS of tiny GPS plus class is initialized for dealing with the NMEA data at time from the GPS sensor. Two and three digital pins of Arduino are configured as RX and TX pins respectively using software serial. We have taught complete details about the software serial in the previous modules and if you have any questions or doubts regarding that, you can go through the previous modules once again. Arduino serial is set at a baud rate of 9600 and the GPS modules baud rate is also fixed at 9600. As we are obtaining data from both FSR and collision sensor, we have 
pin mode set as input and the same things are coded in front of you and the code snippet can be referred for easier understanding. We obtain the call data by digitally reading the call which is nothing but the digital pin 4 and FSR data by analog reading the FSR analog pin 5. And if there is a collision that is call data is equal to 0 then print the FSR data and if the GPS is connected then print the location coordinates or print the default location values. Obtaining the location coordinates from the GPS sensor is taught in the logistics tracker session and we request you to go through it once again for you to get a clarity or understanding if at all you are confused there. And the code is very simple and we have explained you that we request you to go through it once more to get better understanding. Installing exam software. We will be using exam software to create a virtual server, a database to store the values and display it on the web page. To install exam, visit apachefriends.org slash download.html. The page link is given in front of you and download the exam software depending on operating system that you are using. Once downloaded, the procedure for installation is simple and you got to click next, next and it's a formal installation step that you need to proceed with. The only thing that you need to be careful about is to choose the appropriate folder or the path where you want to install it. And once it is done, the installation is all simple and it may take few seconds for the installation to be complete. Kindly note that some Windows user might get the below warning message which is going to flash on the screen. I mean, you may get this error message that you are seeing right in front of you. This is because of the conflict that is there between XAMPP and Windows. Do not worry. This can be avoided. Please do not install XAMPP in C colon program files or C colon program files x86. Instead, try to install it in the root folder like C colon XAMPP. This solves the problem. For knowing more about this problem and the issue, please go ahead and have a look at the link which is presented in the Stack Overflow. You will get to know more about it and we recommend you to read that. Once all the previously shown steps are followed, the software will be successfully installed in the system. Upon successful installation, the control panel of XAMPP will be constructed and you will see in front of it like what you are seeing right now. Let's summarize. Building a real-time collision severity system with GPS, FSR and collision sensor have been discussed. Installing XAMPP software for creating a database using PHP MyAdmin and upload the collision severity data into the database thereby displaying it in the web page. This project will be very good hands-on session to try out the relevant skills learned and implemented in real-time scenarios. All the software used in this session are all completely open source and can be modified as per requirement. Let's go ahead with the demo for the proposed system. It's very easy to go ahead with the connections and please carry ahead with the connections as we have trained you during the theoretical explanation. We have used the GPS, the collision sensor and the FSR and we have connected all of them to the Arduino as you can see in front of you. It's a very simple connection, follow the guidelines and it's easy to do. And please understand that in the code we have given default value, I mean the default location for GPS and when the GPS is not connected, this is the one which is going to be printed. Please go to tools, make sure the right board is selected, make sure the COM port is appropriately updated and if it is all done, go ahead with the compilation and uploading. Once it is all done, we are all set to go with the demo. Done uploading has come and open the serial monitor. Now nothing will come because a collision is not simulated. We are going to create a collision. Yes, we have created it and you can see that we have got some values over there and that's the default value which we have given in the code. Because we have not given a severity there. The severity has to be given and only then the appropriate location and the severity will come. I am now punching on the FSR and you could see that the location values are coming along with severity values. You can see that the severity values are updated based on the pressure that I am impacting on the FSR. This is such a simple exercise and you can try it out with your available hardware. Let's go ahead and understand the installation of XAMPP. Open your favorite browser and from there we can proceed with the installation process. We have given the link for you to 
download the apache server i mean the exam server, and go ahead with the same link from the theoretical explanation and the session that we have given choose the appropriate version based on your operating system whatever operating system you are having the exam is provided for that you can download it for linux you can download it for windows and since i have a windows 64 machine 64 bit machine we are choosing it click on download it might take few seconds to minutes for the download to be complete once the download is complete we are all set to go with the installation we let wait until the installation process is done it's a very easy to use and at the same time easy to install tool the installation can be proceeded with right now because the download is complete click on the exe file once you click that you will get the immediate windows available for you to navigate further now click next you can go ahead with clicking next 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 if it is all okay with the default location that it is prompting if you want the default location to be changed or if you want to customize the components go ahead and customize it make sure that you understand what you are doing and do it and select the folder option is there to enable you to select a different destination folder if you are not happy or if you want to change the default path once you are selected once you have selected that you can click next and from there it will take few minutes for you to complete the process you can also uh, unclick learn more about exam option there if you do not wish to do so now the setup is ready and we can go ahead with the process of installation it may take about five minutes based on the speed of your machine and the configuration of your machine and once the unpacking is done the installation will go on and it will be completed and that's all it's done and we can finish the installation process right now click on finish and immediately you will get an acknowledgement in terms of a window popping up in front of you we are going to take it up and this is the control panel that we have referred during the theoretical explanation and if you get this in front of you the installation is all okay that is it you have installed the exam upon successful installation of exam the control panel should look something similar to what you see in front of you it has many services like apache mysql filezilla mercury tomcat etc out of this we will be using only two we will be using apache and mysql apache is used to start a local server mysql is used to create and access local database where we store our collision data you can simply start the services by clicking on the respective start buttons present adjacent to the name of the service after clicking start the respective services will be up and running you can see the pid which is process id next to the name of the service once the service is initiated and you will see the numbers of the ports as well which you can refer immediately once it is up and running creating a database now it's time to start preparing the backend of our system open your preferred web browser and type localhost in the address bar to load the home page of the exam after hitting enter the url gets changed localhost slash dashboard click on php myadmin which will redirect you to the home page of php myadmin which is used to create custom database for storing all the parameters all the options that we are presenting in front are easy to understand and are self explanatory you can click on the new to create a new database and you need to give the name of the database as accident underscore inf as you can see here and most importantly you can create a table and the table name is presented as severity underscore data with number of columns being set as five all these are dynamically to be arranged by yourself based on the requirement we are going to create five empty fields and that's the first step to be done and you can see that the name of the fields are respectively time latitude longitude severity and google maps the time is of the type date time the latitude and longitude are is of the type float severity is of the type medium text and google maps is of the type long text make sure that you follow the same stuff and do not change anything over here 
and you can leave the rest of the columns as it is as per the default configuration. Accessing website. After clicking save, a table in the database will be created. To make the task easy for you, we have made the .php file which contains the HTML code as well as the PHP code for visualizing the data in the database. For accessing the web page, kindly copy the impact.php file which is made available in the resources folder for you and you paste it inside the htdocs directory. It is present in the folder where exam is installed. C colon exam htdocs is the appropriate path. We have presented the screenshots for your easier reference and in the second screenshot you can see that the impact.php is pasted inside exam and htdocs and this is to be done for the entire process to be smooth. HTML code. If you open the impact.php file, it contains the HTML code along with the PHP code. Head tag of HTML contains the meta tag in which the care set is defined as UTF-8 and title tag contains title of the web page and the style tag contains the styling information for the table. Table styles the whole HTML table element and .th styles the header of the table. TR, nth child even styles every even row of the table. The styling elements inside the table, TH, TR are all self-explanatory and we have presented the code for you right in front. Body contains table tag which is used for constructing a table in the HTML. TR is the short form of table row and TH is the short form of the table header. So TR is used for constructing a row and TH is used for constructing the header of the table. Inside each th tag, name of the each column is written. We request you to go through the code for an easier understanding before you go to the next level. PHP code. Understanding the PHP code is out of the scope of this course. But we will explain some little terms so that you can tweak this code and build any similar other application. MySQLi underscore connect tries to connect to the local host and accesses the accident underscore inf database. If connection failed, it returns an error. If the connection is successful, it will select each column in the table severity underscore data using select from for getting the data in this columns query is used. The code is presented in front of you and we request you not to spend a lot of time here as it is beyond the scope of this course. But we request you to understand the fundamentals as we have conveyed you. If the number of rows obtained in the result are greater than zero, then each row is converted into a HTML tabular row using TR and TD, where TD is the short form of table defined used for defining each cell of the row. Echo is used for printing data in PHP and for printing the text and the variable together in PHP, dot is used. If there is no data, then zero results will be printed. Accessing the website. After the impact.php file is copied into the htdocs directory, then you can access directly the web page from your browser by typing localhost slash impact.php. You can also create your own PHP file and paste it in the htdocs directory so that it can be accessed using localhost. When you access the impact.php in the browser, then it should look as what you see in front of you right now. All the parameters in the table severity underscore inf will be updated using a Python script. The Python script will be reading the data from the serial port, parses it, processes it and it updates in the table. After the parameters gets updated in the table, the PHP code reads the data from the table and displays on the web page. Time is used to store the timestamp about when the accident has happened. The lat long details are also available and latitude longitude are the coordinates for the location which are obtained from the GPS sensor. Severity is obtained from the FSR and collision sensor. Finally, we will also provide a Google map link using the lat and long data. Python code. Python code is used for reading the data from the Arduino serial and updating it in the database. Import time for delay operations, date time for getting the present timestamp, import serial for reading the serial data and PYMySQL for updating the parameters into the database. You can see that the code is pretty simple and easy for anybody to understand. 
before running the python script please make sure that you have installed the py mysql using pip you need not install time and date time as these are installed by default during the installation of python serial dot serial is used for accessing the com port replace your com port with com port number of arduino uno ARD port is used for accessing Arduino's COM port data which is initialized with a baud rate of 9600 and PMS.connect is used for connecting the database accident underscore inf through localhost. Connection.cursor is used as a cursor for performing operations on the database. Curse.execute is used to execute an operation on the database. Truncate table severity underscore data is used to empty the severity data table every time you run the code. If you want to have the data intact in the database, then remove this line and you can run the code. This will retain all the data. Severity initially stores that there is no impact. RECV data stores the data obtained from the Arduino serial. FSR underscore data latitude longitude will be assigned with values passed from RECV data using dot split. Uh, then each of these variable will be converted to float using map function depending on the fsr underscore value severity will be assigned with the severity level you can go through the code which is pretty much self-explanatory and you can understand the same the final step of the code is to update the web page using some simple sql commands time underscore now stores the present time and the date of the system if the severity is not no impact, then insert the parameters into the table using insert into severity data method. After updating the parameters, severity is again set to no impact for checking another collision. Connection dot auto commit of true is used for automatically refreshing the table after updation. The Google map link is updated in the table and they are nothing but the latitude and the longitude location coordinates obtained from the GPS. You can see the same thing in the code for your easier understanding. Deploying the system. This is the most important step and this is very easy to do as well. Deploying is the final step for any system. For this, you need to connect the Arduino Uno board to the PC. Note the COM port allocated for the board and paste it in the Python code data underscore upload dot py. We have been repeatedly telling you about the importance of the COM port and make sure that you do not miss it. To run the python code if there is a collision with no impact then no data updates if there is a collision with some impact then the data updates on the table if there is a collision with impact we get your update if there is collision without impact there is nothing after the data gets updated in the table if you go to the web page and refresh it then you can see the same data on the web page you can also copy the google map link and paste it on a new tab for visualizing where exactly the accident has happened. Let's summarize. You have built a real-time collision severity detection system with GPS, FSR, collision sensor, Apache server, SQL database, and Python script. Easiest way to notify the emergency services about the location of the accident is using Google Map link and it has been added to the web page as one of the parameters. The same web page can be hosted over the internet by adding some additional CSS and responsiveness so that the emergency services can access the live accident data. In this tutorial, we will clearly understand how do we create a database with XAMPP support. Also, how do we display and visualize the data in the web page. All these are simple and easy to do. We request you to follow the process and the guidelines that we are going to give you right now. Please follow all these steps meticulously. The first step is to open the XAMPP that you have installed in your system. Open the XAMPP control panel as we have shown you right in front of you and we are going to use Apache and MySQL. We got to start these two and first let us start Apache and you can see that you have got an error message as Apache shut down unexpectedly. This is because of a block port or missing dependencies. Don't worry, we can fix it. Go to config and once config is clicked, the first link there, apache httpd.conf. Go to that file, scroll down and you will see something called as listen80, make it 8080. Scroll down further, you will have one other location where you will have localhost colon 80, make it 8080. Once you do that, 
just save it and close it now we have fixed the first part of it we need to go ahead with some more corrections and configuration changes right now click on the same config open apache the second link httpd-ssl.conf scroll it down further you can see that in listen you make it 443 to 4433 similarly scroll down further where you have another location where 443 is there make it 4433 why do we have to do it sir the question is very simple and the answer has to be given this ports might be used by some other resources or some other processes and hence is the blockage once you do this the blockage will be clear now we can start the apache service and you can see that the pad has been shown which means the service has been started now the mysql is also started and the pad is presented there which is a process id so we have started both apache and mysql and the first part of it is over go to any of your favorite browser and type localhost colon what is the number that you need to type there you have got 8080 clearly given in the configuration tool so give 8080 and you will immediately get the dashboard for example and in that please go to php my admin and you can see a lot of options there which could enable you to create a database modify edit all these options are very useful and we request you to go through it at your comfort click on new now you can create a new database and the database name that we are preferring here is accident underscore in and you have created it the moment you have created it it will be reflected in the left hand side and you can see that now we need to create table in that we have got the name of the table to be given as well as the number of columns needs to be specified the name of the table is severity underscore data and the number of columns that we want is five so i am making it five and once it is done give go this is the easiest way you can create it now you have seen that you've got a table and there you've got name type length values default collation attributes everything is there let's go one by one i'm going to give the first column as time and it is of the type date time the second one is going to be latitude and it is of the type float i'm going to select float the third is longitude and it is also of the type float i am going to select it that way we will have to type each and everything properly and the fourth one is going to be severity and the severity is nothing but we need to select the appropriate type again for severity we are going with medium text and the last one that we need to go ahead with is the google map we need to give the google underscore maps and what is it of it is of the type long text so once we do that leave rest of the columns with the default values once we do that save it now we have created a database with the table and the table has got lot of columns as we need it and you can see the content over here which is displayed time is date time latitude longitude float severity medium text google maps long text all this can be changed if you want to delete it you can click drop options are plenty and we request you to go through it at your comfort the severity data when you click you can see the time latitude longitude severity google maps all of them are displayed properly which means that the things are created properly and there is no content as of now because we have not updated the database with the content now what is the next step we have given a file called impact.php just select it copy it and move it in the exam directory move it into ht docs there you need to paste it and impact.php goes to ht docs now once it is done we can go ahead and now open localhost colon 8080 slash impact.php you open it you get a web page with time latitude longitude severity and google maps available there is no data entry there because we have not updated the database the next step is to get the database updated and we are going to do it step by step and all this process have to be followed consistently otherwise you may get errors now please understand that we have created a database and we have created cells for it you have got options to delete the entire table you can you have options to empty the table you got multiple options supported in this entire toolbox which can enable you to empty drop i mean delete you can do modifications as per your wish
for the table that you have created. This is very easy to use at the same time this is giving you enormous amount of options and under the operations you can drop the database as well. You can entirely on its entirety you can remove the database. We will go with the hardware demo right now from where we are going to get the real time data reflected in the web page. We are going to simulate a collision with severity and we will get that data reflected in the web page. Please give the connections and the necessary things are to be done as per our guidelines in the connection diagram explanation part. First let us install some dependency files in Python. We will have to go to the command prompt and we need to install the dependency that we have with certain library files and pymysql has to be installed with pip install pymysql command. Once it is done the installation complete message will come and we are all set to go with the demo. As I conveyed you, please make the connections as per our connection diagram explanation that we are given during the PPT and theoretical explanation. Now open the Python file, run the code. It will not give you any output until we simulate it. We are going to simulate a collision right now, but since we have not given any impact, there was no impact of the collision, there is no data which is being shown right there as the output. Now we are going to create impact as well by pressing it with the finger and we are doing it thrice. We have created a simulation, we have built a simulation where we have created an impact thrice and we need to get the data of the severity of the impact right in front of you. High, very high, very high are the impact and when you refresh this web page that we have already created, you get all the data here in real time along with the lat, long, severity index and the most importantly the Google Maps. Just copy paste the Google Maps link over there and you get the location exactly where the collision has been reported. This is the simplest way one can understand how exactly to collect accident severity data real time onto a web page using the setup that we have followed. This is a very simple, elegant and easy to use setup.